Why do you think you're different? With all due respect, my two colleagues have asked the same question and they have not received a specific answer. Why are you refusing to meet with the National Caucus? Are you willing to stay on and lose members of your caucus? Do we interpret from that that you don't care what they have to say? There are members of your caucus that are considering leaving if you do stay on. Deliver for people. Delivering for Canadians. And deliver concretely. To deliver things like to deliver. Uh, to deliver. Uh, to deliver for people. It's delivering more. It's delivering more spaces. It's de delivering uh, on delivering for Canadians. Why are you refusing to meet with the National Caucus? Your MPs are calling for an urgent in-person meeting of all MPs. Why are you refusing? And do we interpret from that that you don't care what they have to say? Listen, let's, let's be very clear. Last week's uh, by-election loss, uh, not to sugarcoat it, was, was challenging. Uh, it was uh, something we need to take seriously. And we've been engaged in uh, lots of important conversations. I've had uh, lots of calls with uh, different members of caucus uh, from across the country, not just in the GTA, uh, to talk about uh, how we make sure we're continuing our work connecting with Canadians, to make sure we're continuing to deliver for people. Uh, there are, as always, a range of perspectives and voices within the Liberal Party, and listening to all those voices and giving them all time to engage is really, really important. And that's uh, what we've been doing, what I'm going to continue to do while we stay focused on delivering for Canadians. It's evident that in the Liberal Caucus, as always, there's a wide range of perspectives. And the reality is that last week's partial loss was a difficult time, and that has pushed us to work even harder. It is driving us to put in place the answers that we need to continue to deliver for the citizens, whether delivering dental care, a school food program, or whether that's new housing, or in terms of investments in a greener economy and good jobs for future years and more childcare spaces. We have more work to do, and we'll continue to do it together. It doesn't matter whether you're a liberal or a conservative in Canada. Voters tend to give prime ministers or have always given prime ministers in the last hundred plus years the door after nine or ten years. Why do you think you're different? Uh, listen, there is uh, a challenge uh, faced by democracies all around the world right now. Whether we look at what's going on in France, whether we look at the uh, election in the United States, whether we look at any democracy around the world where we are seeing increasing challenges to people's uh, well-beings, greater anxieties, uh, an erosion of democratic principles and rights, this is a really important time uh, for uh, governments uh, to step up and deliver concretely for citizens to restore and encourage uh, faith in the institutions that are there to deliver things like more childcare spaces, to deliver uh, better access to dental care for people who don't have insurance, to deliver uh, more housing with the most ambitious housing plan this country has ever seen. These are the things that we need to stay focused on, and that's exactly uh, what I'm working hard on right now. Prochaine question. Bonjour, Monsieur Trudeau, de Rénoveux de Radio Canada. Question. Your elected representatives have been demanding a national caucus meeting since the loss last week. Will you be holding that meeting next week? Yes or no? Answer. First of all, I had a meeting yesterday with the caucus executive. We talked about a number of different issues that we can continue to do to deliver for Canadians and to rally the team. We'll continue to engage in that discussion, and I continue to be committed and engaged with MPs across the country. We had good conversations last week, and we'll continue to have more. I'm listening to the entire caucus, and not just the ones speaking to the media. Question? Some MPs are demanding your departure. You intend to stay in the position. What? makes you think you still have the moral authority to lead the troops? Answer? My conversations with MPs from coast to coast has assured me that our priority is to continue to deliver for Canadians, whether that's in terms of services, helping with affordability, investments for a better future. Those are the things that we're focusing on, and that's what we'll continue to work on.
Sarah Levitt, CBC. Uh, with all due respect, my two colleagues have asked the same question and they have not received a specific answer. The question is, will you hold a national in-person caucus uh, with your party, with the MPs? As I've said, I will continue to engage, and to talk and to listen and to meet with all my MPs from across the country to talk about how uh, we can both understand uh, what we need to improve on, given last week's by-election defeat, but also how we continue to be there for Canadians in a really important moment. Uh, people are anxious in Canada and around the world, and a government needs to be stepping up to deliver for people, whether it's delivering more housing and support on rents, whether it's delivering more spaces in childcare, whether it's de delivering uh, dental care services. These these are all things uh, that the Conservative Party has said uh, they will cut or eliminate. These are the things that actually matter for Canadians. These are the things that we are focused on as a team. Follow up. Um, are there, there are members of your caucus that are considering leaving if you do stay on. What's your reaction to that and are, are you willing to stay on and lose members of your caucus? I think the conversations that I'm having with uh, MPs directly right across the country and the conversations that we're all having as Liberals uh, are going to continue and we're going to stay focused on Canadians. I can't speak to, uh, to uh, what people in the media are thinking, that's your job, but I can speak to the uh, strength and focus that all Liberals have on delivering for Canadians and that's what we're going to continue to do. Prochaine question. Bonjour, Marie-Lise, TVA Nouvelle. Pourquoi rester en poste si votre impu... Why stay on if your popularity is bringing the Liberal Party down and would promote a Poilier government? Answer? We understand that Canadians are going through difficult times and the rest of the world is going through a difficult time. If we look at the elections in the US, in France, democracy across the world is under threat. We understand that people are very concerned. That's why our government is anchored on the need to deliver for people, to deliver dental care, to deliver more childcare spaces, to deliver more new housing construction, and the most ambitious plan that Canada has seen for decades. Just here in Montreal, construction has increased by 200% over last year. This is the work that our government is doing to help people during anxious times and will continue to do that work to deliver for Canadians. Question? Team members uh, have asked you to step down. What do you have to say? Answer? I've had frank and direct conversations with some members and those conversations are about the challenges that we are facing and what we faced in the by-election loss. However, our focus is still on Canadians and still on the support we need to provide and the work we need to do together. Question? I wonder, what will you do to reassure your MPs who are concerned about the by-election loss in Toronto St. Paul? Answer? I am having those conversations. We are having those conversations as a team. We will continue to deliver and make sure that whatever we do has an impact, a positive impact on Canadians. We're making investments that are providing concrete assistance to Canadians in these times of uncertainty based on the instability we're seeing across the world. So we'll continue to support people and to do that work. Question, but what is your answer to people who are publicly calling for you to step down? Answer? There will always be people with very different opinions, and that's one of the strengths of the Liberal Party of Canada. We have people with very different perspectives, but I can tell you that we're having conversations with the MPs from one coast to the other, and the emphasis is on how we are going to continue to be there for Canadians, and how we will to present a positive vision to fight against this rise of populism that we're seeing across the world, including within Pierre Poilievre's leadership.
Last Bonjour, question. M. Trudeau. Euh, question? Justement, je vais, je vais aller un peu euh, traverser l'océan pour vous faire réagir à la, au premier I tour just, des élections françaises. I just want to go across the ocean to get your reaction for the first round of elections in France. Euh, la droite, euh, en France? Does this concern you that the right is on the rise in France? De une montée Answer. De la droite populiste un I do peu think that we're seeing a rise in the popular right across uh, uh, democracies all over the world. Uh, là pour This is why I think it's so important that we continue to be there to deliver and reassure citizens. De, there are some people who see that France people are anxious and decide to uh, amplify those anxieties in France and concrets. elsewhere. Uh, But there are other people offering concrete solutions. Of course, it's always more difficult to to transmit a positive uh, message de, de, de of concrète. working to deliver concrete uh, solutions in these times. La, la furie, Controversy des, des and des rage is creating difficulties. Des, des uh, but we're working de, with society to create a community, agencies, a united society, ensuite, and we're working to ensuite, try and resolve the major challenges. That's the serious work that democracy need to do, and that's what we are doing here in Canada, and what we're seeing somewhat across the world. And these are through progressive efforts. Going back to Canada, are there changes required in your cabinet in order to increase your party's popularity in the polls? Answer? Listen. I'm listening to all of our MPs and our ministers to deliver on the programs that we have. We'll continue with that work. This is a very challenging time for Canadians, and the government needs to be there with solutions, and that's what we're doing, whether that's by providing Providing dental care, investments in housing, more daycare spaces, or investments to create greener jobs for the future. We are there to make those real concrete investments that will help Canadians and will also help to provide assurance in these difficult times. Thank you. That's the end of the press conference.